Hello, tonight our video is on the concept of rate of change, or we could call it growth rate. So let's look at this example. Here we have uh, a pattern, a tile pattern, figure 0, 1, and figure 2. And let's go ahead and color in or shade in uh, the tiles that are being added for each figure. So here in figure 1, I can see that we've added two tiles one here and one there. And then continuing that pattern, for each figure, we add two tiles, okay? So our growth rate would be the number of tiles that we're adding each time, which would be what? That's right, it'd be two, right? Because here we have a total of two tiles, here we have a total of four tiles, and here we have a total of six tiles. So that means that each time we are adding two more. Okay, so that's our rate of change, or our growth rate. Uh, the rate of change is two tiles for every figure. All right, here we have the same pattern from the previous slide. So now what I'd like you to do is to write a rule to describe this pattern. And by now you should be getting pretty good at it. So pause your video and write your rule, then restart to check your answer. Walking back from pausing the video. Our rule is going to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now remember that m is where we would put the growth rate. And B, this is the initial amount of tiles for figure 0. Substituting the numbers in, we should have our growth rate of 2 would go here in front of X. And the original amount of tiles for figure 0 is also 2. So this is our rule. How'd you do? All right, good. All right, so here is a different rule that's being graphed. All right, y equals x plus 7. So we can look at this graph, and let's ask a couple of questions. First of all, if this was a, if we put this into a pattern, how many tiles would figure 0 have? What do you think? Well, if you said 7, you'd be right, because figure 0 would have 7 tiles right there. And, of course, it's shown in the rule, right? It's right there. All right, what is the growth rate? How many tiles does each figure increase by? That's right. The growth rate is 1. Very good. Okay, because the number of tiles would increase by 1 each time. So here, uh, here is, if this was figure 2, the number of tiles is 9. And that means this right here would be 8. That would be figure 1, right? So it's increasing by 1 every time. And look at the coefficient. Look at the number in front of the x. There's nothing there, right? Well, there is. It's invisible 1, right? y equals 1x plus 7. That's the same thing as y equals x plus 7. So again, there's our growth rate, or the rate of change. All right? Uh, here we have y equals 3x plus 1. All right, so again, uh, let's answer the couple questions. How many tiles would there be in figure 0? And what is the growth rate? That's right. Figure 0 would have one tile. It's right here and right there on the graph. And then the growth rate is going to equal 3. Growth rate equals 3. And you can see that the number of tiles would increase by 3 as we go up by 1. And the growth rate is shown in our rule right there, number 3. Okay, I bet you know what I'm going to ask. All right, so let's go ahead and the number of tiles in figure 0 and the growth rate for this graph. Okay, the number of tiles would be 1 for figure 0, there and there. 
and the growth rate is equal to 2. So how'd you do? Okay, excellent. Okay, so here I've hand-drawn a graph, so forgive me if it's a little bit squiggly, but uh, I want you to go ahead and determine the growth rate. and the number of tiles in figure zero. And then write, your, write the rule using those two pieces of information. All right, well, the number of tiles in figure zero would be right there. That would be the number two, all right? And the growth rate, let's see if this is figure one, and this is figure two, three, and four. So figure zero has two, figure one has a total of four, figure two has a total of six, so it's increasing by two as well. Therefore, our rule would be y equals 2x plus 2. How'd you do? All right, let's try one more. Okay, so again, determine the number of tiles in figure zero, determine the growth rate, and then write the rule. Pause your video and then check your answer. Welcome back from pausing the video. So the number of tiles in figure zero is equal to one, it's right there. Our growth rate, we can look at the graph and see how much y increases as x increases by one. So here's figure number one, and there's y is equal to four at that point, so it increased by three. And then figure two, y at that point is equal to 7, so again, it increased by 3. And then when x is 3, or the third figure, y is 10, so our growth rate is 3. So our equation would be y equals 3x plus 1. How'd you do? All right, thank you for listening, and don't forget, read some books.